What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take a ride today. We're gonna um, we're gonna go get some E85, pick up a couple containers, and um, shoot over and get some E85. <clears throat> the the Wawa gas station that I got local to me that's just started selling E85 actually had really good ethanol content when it first opened, um, and now it's testing it like E50, which is no good. So I'm gonna take a ride over to Jersey, um, and hopefully fill the two uh, 55 gallons that guy was an idiot um, the 255 gallon drums that I have uh, hopefully I'm hoping that that E85 over in Jersey is probably going to be E75 E70 even I think I would you know uh, be okay with E70 um, but nothing under that so we're going to drive over there and uh, I'm going to take you guys along with me well, let's go check right, it out. This is the type of stuff you had to do if you could decide to run E85. <clears throat> it's worth it, uh, my opinion, for me, because um, the, the fuel is cheap, you know, and I don't know. Next, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next year. Once it gets starting to get cold and seasons change, I'm going to get like 15, 55 gallon drums and I'm going to fill them. And uh, I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna store them in the shop, and then uh, I'll even sell this stuff if I have to. You know what I mean? Um, because, like I said, in these climates out here, the ethanol content drops ridiculously. I mean, we can drop all the way down, like Wawa's E50. So, if you're interested in running E85 and you're thinking about it, you have to consider these type of things. Um, give it only an hour each way for me. Um, but see, I have 255s in the back. You have to set up like that because you can't just drive your car out and fill a tank of gas. By the time you get back, you'll have a half tank of gas. You can't do it like that. It's not going to work out. So if that's something you guys are considering about doing and running the 85, do consider your location or where you're going to get it. If you're in change, if your seasons change, your climates, and you you know um, you get seasonal fuel, do consider all them factors. Okay, um, it will make your life a lot easier and. Uh, you know, but like I said, it, it really depends on where you're at and with the fuel. I mean, race fuel is, that stuff's almost $15 a gallon. Like, come on, who can afford to run that in their car? And especially if you daily it. E85 out here is like 220, something like that. Sometimes it's a little cheaper depending on where you get it. Um, so just want to bring them to topics up and think of, you know, I want you guys to think about that if you're gonna run E85. Yeah, Jersey. It's all country out here. You know, some of these, these properties out here are absolutely amazing because, like, they have so much land, right? And and 90% of them have detached car garages or, like, some type of barn out back or something. Um, you can't find that in my area. I've been really... Look at this. Look. I mean, come on. Are you serious? I mean, and that's a normal type of uh, housing out here. I mean... It's crazy, look at this one. I mean, come on, that's awesome. That's absolutely perfect. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. You can't find that in PA, it just doesn't exist. It does, um, it's just extremely expensive. Like, it's cheaper out here. The only problem out here is depending on what county you live in, the taxes are a little high out here. So, um, I don't know, like, you know, they're just amazing. So, this is the country of Jersey. This is South Jersey. Uh, this is actually, we are on Jackson Road, headed out to 206. So, we're going to hide out to Mighty Joe's uh, over on 206 and 206 in Akko, New Jersey. It's actually very, very close to the Akko Dragway. Um, if you guys are local, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mighty Joe's gas station. has got, like, the big gorilla outside and stuff, but... So we're gonna take a ride over there. Uh, I got the um, 55 gallons with me in the back and I got the ethanol content tester and we're gonna see what we get. I also did a video of the pros and cons on E85. I'll put a uh, card at the end of this video. You guys can check it out. Um, pros and cons versus, you know, your E85, what's your benefits, what's your, you know, pros and cons. So if you guys wanna check that out, uh, it's really um, informational and, um, I'll put a card at the end, like I said. Guys, I was trying to get TikTok on a dyno today. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Uh, I really want to get the boost controller hooked up. 
the tune that's in the car. I did notice when I was logging the other day, and I started looking at some of my logs. I know there's a very soft tune in the car. Uh, John John Jr. told me the tune's good for about eight pounds. Um, <clears throat> I was doing some logging, and uh, I pulled some of the logs up using the uh, SCT Live um, free software. If you guys have a Windows computer and you just want to download their logs and read them, use their software. It's free on their website. Um, just an FYI. But I was looking at the logs from the from you know some of the logs I took, and uh, <coughs> I've noticed. I know John told me there's a real soft tune in the car, <coughs> but I did notice that my uh, ignition timing is only topping out at about 18 degrees, which is fairly retarded. I mean, like I'm not talking like stupid retarded, meaning retarded. The timing is retarded. It's back. It's set back. Um, <coughs> so. Uh, and the car's only on six pounds of boost. With all that said, the car has, you know, I, I actually did a couple pulls last night, some rolls with, with some other Mustangs that have been dyno that are about 600 wheel. It's a stick car. He, we actually did like a, I think we did a 45 roll and he didn't start, I pulled away from him a little bit, but he stayed beside me and then he started pulling on me top end. So um, that just gives the show you of the power of these cars like i said my car's only pointing out 18 degrees of timing and six pounds of boost you know what i mean so it's very it's held back right now big time so like i said about the dyno fortunately <clears throat> unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get it on the dyno today um efx tuning dave is uh he's with his family he's always in the shop so i figured maybe he'd be in there but he's with his he's with his family today and uh so we're just not going to be able to get it on there. Um, so I really want to get the boost controller hooked up, but I'm not going to hook it up on the street. We have to get it on the dyno. There's just no way. I mean, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not taking that type of gamble, though, because you can't really see, you know, watch your air fuel and all that and your boost while you're driving on the street. You need to be on a dyno. You can dial it in. The only thing you got to do is hit the pedal. You know, look where you're going. And you can, you know, watch your boost and, and you can play with it. So I'm not going to hook it up until I get it on the dyno. Um, so I guess we're going to have to stay at six pounds of boost unless I change the gate springs and put like, you know, another pound and a half spring in there and go to seven and a half. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but let's see. We're getting close to the E85 station now. All right, guys, we have arrived. Mighty Joe's. See if we can test this stuff real quick. Let's see what we got. It's actually testing pretty good. This isn't too level, but that's gonna be that's probably gonna be about E80, which is really, really good for this time of the year. So I'll know 100 percent once I get it into the car through the ethanol reader got 55 gallons here I marked all these they're five gallon lines so we'll fill this 55 up we get a pretty coin out here for this e85 269 a gallon cash 279 credit that's he's making a big money I was just talking to the guy he said that they guys some guys that come out here you know a few times a week with these cans uh, he's killing it. All right, we're filling up. Uh, it looks like we got good fuel. Usually, you see how that's a white can? You see how it's clear? That's full. If the fuel was anything like E70 or lower, <coughs> it would be yellow. What are we at? How much? 230? Oh, yeah, you too. Thanks, man. We got $300 for, we got, we got 111 gallons for $300. But well, we're full. 